I'm not new to the internet. I know that bullies are everywhere online and people just love to hide behind screens to say whatever the hell they want. But there has definitely been a major influx of that 4chan style asshole over here on YouTube. And people always say to not feed the trolls and to just ignore them and all of that. And to an extent, I think that is a great thing to do, to ignore them. But when they make it impossible to ignore them, it has clearly become a real problem. Since I am what you may call an intersectional feminist, I am subscribed to some people that these trolls hate because, you know, these trolls are always racist and homophobic and transphobic and misogynistic and ableist. They're all the things. So what I'm seeing is a lot of the people that I love to watch are being flooded with these asses. They're clearly people that are subscribed to them just so that they can thumbs down their videos and comment on them as soon as they go up with all their hateful shit. And how do you spot these people? They love to use the word cancer when not talking about actual cancer. They compare groups of people to Nazis, which shows that they have absolutely no idea what Nazis did because I can't really think of any group besides Nazis that should be compared to Nazis. They will intentionally misgender people by using the wrong pronouns. They will tell people to kill themselves and they will often suggest bleach in some way. They will use a lot of slurs that I will not say in this video, but you know, you've got the N-word, you've got the F-word, not fuck, you know what I'm saying. Um, you've got the R-word. Basically any of those are a sure sign that they're one of these assholes. They love to make fun of triggers, which by the way, triggers are a legitimate thing. It does not mean that somebody is, oh, you know, that kind of offends me. It's a little different. If you don't understand what triggers are, please don't use the word triggered as a joke. They love to demonstrate that they refuse to learn anything new about our world and to listen to people by exclaiming that there are two genders and saying something about helicopters. I mean, those are just a few of the examples, but basically, you can spot them because they all say the exact same things. They post these comments on so many videos and a lot of the times the comments are completely unrelated to what the video is about. Like, it can be a video of like a dog jumping through a hoop and they'll still somehow bring in their transphobia in the comments. <laughs> the thing is with these people, if you do block them, somebody will come along and claim that you're censoring them or that you're trying to restrict their freedom of speech. I have been seeing this freedom of speech thing said so many times and clearly they don't have a clue what freedom of speech means. First of all, I'm not working for the government. I am not the government. And on my page, I'm allowed to say I don't want to hear it. Once you do try to avoid the harassment on your own page, then people come at you with jokes about safe spaces. Anyone who mocks safe spaces clearly doesn't need them for themselves and so they refuse to understand that other people may need them. You'll notice that a lot of these people just so happen to be white straight cis men. That is not a coincidence. It is because the whole world, pretty much, is their safe space. It's the same people that say things like, we can't make a joke without people getting so offended all the time now. Side note, I think it's kind of funny, only not actually funny, that a lot of these people that whine about how offended everyone is are the same people that get extremely offended if you point out the fact that they said something racist, misogynistic, transphobic, homophobic, ableist, any of the obics, ists. You know what I mean. I also don't understand this whole anti-SJW movement. Ah, justice! Ah, respect for other human beings! Ah, thinking about someone other than myself! Ah, learning! Ah! People are so scared of learning new things about the world, it is ridiculous. The whole point of this video is basically, first of all, if you are one of those people that I've just been talking about for the last however many minutes, go ahead and unsubscribe. If you do try to leave hateful comments, I will block them without hesitation. That is not censorship. You can go fuck yourself. People need to stop harassing each other online and being okay with seeing other people doing it. I just want everyone to be nice. Is that too much to ask? I don't know, tell me your thoughts. Is there any kind of solution to 
kind of tame these people down? Should we all just go on blocking sprees? Because honestly, I think that's what we should do. Or do you actually think that these people should be able to say as many hateful and hurtful things as they want? I've been on here for 10 years and these assholes have always been around, but it's definitely gotten worse. I hope it's still recording. I don't have a fun camera with a flip out screen and I don't have a tripod either, so that's why I'm on the floor. Okay, bye! <laughs>